A bipartisan group of senators introduced a resolution urging President Biden to leave all options on the table, including the use of military force, if Iran or its proxies attack Israel or the greater region. Iran, you expand this war, uh, there won't be an AUMF. We don't need one. Just go for it. Just knock you out, you know, hit you where it hurts. And we want to avoid any stupid mistakes on the part of Iran, any recklessness. The resolution does not require President Biden to do anything, but it's a clear message that the chamber supports retaliatory strikes if Iran or an entity Iran supports escalates the war in Israel. This would apply to attacks from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Hamas, Hezbollah, or any other group which Iran has provided financing, training, or other forms of support. It also encourages the U.S., Israel, and Saudi Arabia to keep working to normalize relations between the Jewish state and Arab world leader. Uh, the worst nightmare for Iran, as I said before, is for the Arab world to reconcile with Israel and move toward the light away from the darkness. The group commended President Biden for moving naval assets to the eastern Mediterranean, but said he should do more to sanction Iran. They said that should include strengthening sanctions on Iran's economy, oil and ballistic missiles. There is a whole suite of things we can be doing right now as a country to weaken Iran and choke them off. This is not kinetic. This is just good old fashioned, hard reimposition of serious sanctions. The U.S. has carried out airstrikes on targets in Syria linked to Iran-backed militias. But the senators say the president should hit bases inside Iran if a member of the American military is killed by an Iranian strike. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.